Thanks for watching our single sign-on with Okta tutorial. Um, this one is the one for manual provisioning, which means you don't use any of the options in our plugin to uh, create and update users. Um, so you have some other way, either you do it manually or you use um, um, LDAP as a backend um, to create your users in the um, Atlassian application. So in this case, what we have to do is we need to configure our SAML plugin in Jira. Um, then in between there, we uh, need to jump over to Okta to create and configure um, the uh, SAML app in Okta. Then we complete the config on our side and verify the setup. Once you have installed our plugin and go to user management, you'll find SAML single sign-on on the left. Once you go for the first time into our plugin setup, it will start the wizard that will help you configure the plugin. I go to add new IDP to create a new identity provider profile. Then I need to select the identity provider type. In our case, that will be Okta, so I need to scroll down. Give it a name and a description. And by the way, down um, under the documentation section, you also find a link to our step-by-step -step guides where you see um, all the setup we do in this tutorial on a step-by-step um, -step instruction. And now we go to next. So now we're back in our plugin and I go to next. Now I see the administrator view um, of Okta and I need to go to applications. Add an application. And I, now I need to say create new app. And it's going to be a SAML 2.0 app. So I select SAML 2.0, then create. I need to give it a name. Sierra Demo Jira. Go to next. And now I need the sign on URL that I copied from our plugin, so I'm going to paste that here. I also need that as the audience URI. Now I go to next. Okta is going to ask me for a mandatory survey, so I'm just going to quickly fill that in. Finish. And now the SAML part of this setup is actually done. There are two more things we need to do. We need to assign um, uh, people to this um, app integration, which means that are actually the users that are allowed um, to use this um, SAML integration from Okta to get signed in. Um, and it, those users will also see that um, app Sierra Demo Jira in their app dashboard um, if they are logged into um, Okta. So I'm just going to do groups, assign to groups. I'm going to do everyone. So everyone in our organization um, can use this um, app. And now I just quickly need to go back to sign on to copy my metadata URL. Go down here, identity provider metadata. That's where I find it. So I right click it, say uh, copy link address. And um, now we're pretty much finished on the Okta side. So we'll have to go back to our plugin and uh, complete the configuration there. So now we're back in our plugin and I go to next. Now it expects me to enter the metadata URL which I just copied on the uh, Okta side. That way the plugin can load a lot of the required data from Okta um, just by reading the metadata paste that in here. Then I say import. You see metadata import successful. I go to next. On this screen, the plugin wants to know if the user ID in Jira matches the user ID that's being sent from Okta. If that's the case, you can just leave it as it is. If not, I'm just going to give you a quick highlight on the functionality. I'll just uncheck that. Um, you actually see you have user ID transformations, which are essentially regular expressions that you can define to, for example, drop the um, 
domain part. So uh, if the Okta user has add resolution DE at the end, uh, you might want to drop that. Uh, you can also do convert to uh, user ID um, in here or to use a different authentication attribute. Just that you know that's possible. Um, if that's your case, then have a further look at our documentation uh, or get in touch with us that you can help you um, select um, the right rules for you there. So I'll go back to the name attribute um, matches the user ID because for our tutorial, both sites use the name, uh, the same name. Then I go to next. Now it's going to ask me if I want to turn on user creation update, um, which we don't want in this tutorial because we manually manage the users. Save and next. And that's already it. So we're finished with the configuration now. And now our, at this step, you could actually say skip test and, um, and configure manually, then it would save the config. Um, or we test the integration now, which is what we're going to do. So I'm going to go to start test. Now the plugin actually shows us um, what we call an authentication tracker. An authentication tracker essentially keeps a lot of the authentication related messages, um, etc. together to help with troubleshooting and give you a good view of it. I'm going to copy this special URL here and quickly scroll down that you see things here. Now I'm going to take that URL and post it in an incognito window where I'm not authenticated uh, to kick off the authentication. I'm just going to do that. Here we go. Let me paste the URL, hit enter. And now you see I get redirected um, to Okta. So I can log in with my Okta login. And I get redirected back to our Jira. And you actually see this is my first login to Jira, so I get the first start wizard, but it has successfully logged me in. Now let's go back to our authentication tracker. Now you see the authentication tracker actually has status of success. You see um, the user ID identified as CR local one at resolution D, it's logged in. And if I scroll further down in the login information, you see what information we got sent from the um, identity provider, Okta in this case, and even further down, I can see the SAML messages, etc. So this is a very powerful tool to see if things went fine and also to do troubleshooting. And just as a quick tip, if something goes wrong here and you need our help, then click onto the um, collect support info with this tracker button. That will allow you to download a JSON, which contains um, your plugin configuration, uh, but also this authentication tracker in a JSON format um, without any private keys. And then you can attach that to a support case um, for us, for example, which gives us a lot of the information that we'll need to help you along. But this uh, authentication was successful. So we can click on next now. And now we're in the tab redirection options. And here we can um, enable the SSO redirect. So essentially what we've done up until now has not interfered with anything users do. They still saw their normal login prompt, username, password. And uh, in order, and we had this special URL in the authentication tracker which redirected us. In order to uh, make this live so that all users get redirected to um, Okta, you need to check the box enable SSO redirect and then go to save and close. You could also leave it unchecked um, if you don't want to um, do that right now. Just say save and close and then go back into the plugin settings later to enable that during a maintenance window. We'll just enable it right now, say save and close, and then we're finished.